Hey everyone, see what Bowtie here with another episode of this reviewing process for this guy named Games by Noah. No, um, jeez. Um, so I'm on King's Fall, which is the game after AFK Heroes, which is the game I reviewed in the last video. Now, you're probably wondering why that video was probably like. Huh, you reviewed it as, like, potentially not an idle game and such, had some good constructs, whatever, it, simple stuff. But why do you care? I care because, one, that was made in 2019, this is 2020, this was released, released, um, at some point earlier, earlier this year of 2020. Um, and my problem is, one, he has still yet to have fixed the graphics, unless somehow, for me, don't know how, but for me, I'm the only one that's having this problem. But the thing is, it seems like he still is not doing it. Because, one, this background is just a steady picture. This, like when I started up the page, it was one picture and then it stretched. And it's a simple, he did not have it to repeat over and over again. And which, personally, is a simple process. Now, another thing he fixed was having his title, King's Fall. Awesome. Um, everything else is technically the same, um, because actually I wanted to check something, um, no. Alright, so, let's get into it. Poor little people, I conquer your world and make you my slaves. Also, if you can already check, the scrolling of the pictures are already stretching, because he did not put a repeat system on it. Um, serve me or die. Not so fast, demon. First you need to beat me. <sighs> Obviously, a tutorial to tell you you are weak as all get out against the mighty demon. <gasps> you cannot even hurt me. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> that was terrible, whatever. You're so pathetic. I don't even want you want to touch you. See you at level 20 if you stay alive till then. Okay, level 20. Seems simple enough. I mean, I got to level 5 in the last game pretty fast. So, shouldn't be that hard. Oh, so, new graphics, side scroller this time. Totally fine. I get to see what comes up before. Oh, wait, what's going on? This is the problem I have with this guy. He has made this an idle game that you have to click constantly. Now, this is what I was having the fear with in the last one, is that he was keeping you playing the game instead of having it in the background to do whatever, which is the type of idle games I like to have. I like to be able to set up my t turrets to be able to defend my castle a certain way. Why is, and that's another thing, why is the, um, okay, first off, upgrade. You upgrade at the end of the level, not in between like you did the last time, because you don't have enough time to click and also swipe at the enemies coming your way. You can't just do this and do this at the same time. It does not make sense, apparently. Um, but at the same time, why change your format for an idle game from being very good to being a simple wanting you to keep playing the game, just ter just simple things to get fixed, like making sure you put in a system for your um, pictures, your pixels, your background to side scroll or um, up scroll or down scroll, whatever you want to call it to constantly be shown the same picture or repeat the pictures over and over again. Simple thing. Instead, you make the side scroller, you make me beat the enemies to submission, instead of allowing that to happen on its naturally and allowing me just to upgrade like any other idle game, and you won't let me upgrade until the end, which then it's like, oh, this is the point where I can step away and listen to the music, which then 
that just makes me want to put on music in the background instead of having something to come to to distract me from my work and make me come back to the work I'm working on and be like, oh, I have a new idea. I can put this system here and do that instead of the system I was stupidly putting in the place. Oh, dumb, dumb brain. Oh, thank goodness I had a distraction to distract me. Instead, no, the distraction I need is becoming the full-time job instead of me being able to rest. It's instead I'm having to rest from the game to then go do my work. And I, I not it's not an idle game that makes it a regular sit down play game until you get to the end and it's a clicker game that's what it makes it into a clicker game and which don't get me wrong he put in the corner clicker but he also put idle and the thing is you can technically put clicker in anything that uses a mouse and not the keyboard which at the same time i'm pretty dang sure i can't use any of the keyboard to upgrade so i'm going to upgrade just one now i'm going to continue another thing you might see is that I get one coin. 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 And it's like that after every single one. Well, in the other game, it was variant. It was from one all the way to probably 15 or 17, 19, 20. Don't care at all because it was random which is the point of some idle games in general is that oh you get different loot from defeating an enemy that comes into your barrier or um, arena whatever or you might get a surplus because oh the game decided that this item is being sold more than whatever but for some reason this guy went from a really good concept for an idle game that just had a little bit that was enough to oh make me want to continue to play it instead of stepping away which is good that's a good concept for a game but here's my problem is that to speed up the process for me to watch i have to watch an ad which just seems like it's a phone game and which for all i know this became a phone game i'm not sure i'll probably look it up um future me would put it up if it doesn't exist he doesn't put it up whatever but it's also auto clock for ads uh, for ads, ads for you uh, do the other language, but realize I can't upgrade again. I don't have enough. And see, I can't even upgrade my weapon, and it's at a thousand and eighty for me to upgrade my weapon. I can't even upgrade like oh a healing effect or whatever. I can't even get other party members to help me continue on and do the work for me while I step away. That would be a good concept. That is a good concept to allow, like, oh, at the beginning, I do have to play. I do have to sit here and play for a while until I get someone to help me on my journey and do some of the tasks for me. They might be weaker. They might not have all the strength I have, but they're there. So, another thing, they got rid of the slot machine. The slot machine was a decent thing. It made me want to continue to hopefully get... A jackpot in which for for some reason I only got one near my playthrough uh, for the video another thing the audio for everything is out of whack like sometimes it gets really loud and sometimes it gets really soft I do not understand why but at the same time music is good oh gosh I don't know um something just broke I don't know if it was mine this makes me not want to play this I mean look I died because I got hit because I couldn't beat him in time. So I have to start over from that level. Actually, I think I actually get put back one. So let me critical. Oh, crud. Nope. No. It's my fault. Um, nope. Level one. I put back at level one. I don't know if it was because I accidentally went to main, main menu or not. But I'm pretty sure it would have sent me back to level one. Because I was only at level two. But that's my problem with this game. Oh, gosh, I really want to step away from it. This makes me not want to play it. And yes, I have a speeder, so which it can speed me up, and I have an auto attack. Guess what? That costs me coins. Already, I'm having the trouble getting the coins. And also, another thing, graphically, they're showing me getting more coins than I'm actually getting. And it upsets me so much. Oh my gosh, my whole entire place is freaking out. Um, 
this game, because it was a game after a good game, should have been really good. And instead, this guy just pushed it, kept the graphics, kept the upgrading, kept the whole pixel stuff, and just threw out the mechanics to a certain point. You had to click instead of allowing it to just run by itself. Some of the characters changed. I personally do not like this character that has a big head and a small body. I like the whole entire RPG type characters. I wasn't worried about that. I just wanted an idle game that I could put on and just put in the background while I did. I'm gonna let him die. Um, but at the same time, like that, that, that animation, great animation, but you don't have what is needed here to make it a good game. And I think the reviews even have it at like a 1.3 out of 10, which shows that it's not that good. Actually, um, because I'm gonna leave it here, um, very quickly check. Yeah, I'm sorry. AFK has a 4.4, .4, which makes sense because I have the criticisms the same as, um, as I just talked about. However, Nightfall had a 1.9. No, no, no. It's like, you did something bad here. So hopefully, this guy realizes that and goes back to this and fixes it along with what he's learned that people said, oh, it's really good. Personally, I like the whole entire story of, oh, here's a boss and everything. While in this one, it just had me, oh, you're on a, you're on an adventure, go with it. Um, you have a game master that's telling you everything, whatever. And like, I'm already reading the ones as access code heaven is good but needs updates and patches. And I, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, and I'll figure that out when I start playing it. But it just shows, like, for a lot of even independent game makers, like, um, they can fall back on their own stuff. Personally, I'm going to try playing some of his original two games and see how good and how... Because they are basically the same ratings, which is good. And I'm pretty sure it's just because he made the characters move slowly or it wasn't as fun or something wasn't there. It's simple, just small things that, like, even if you're a big corporation, it's like, listen to what the people have to say keep what is good but add on to it so yeah, that's that's all my rant that my review was for is that you can have a good game but you can easily screw it up so easily doesn't matter what type of game it is it could be an idle game could be a clicker could be an RPG it could be a battle royale but it does not matter you can make a game make it so pretty and everything but it does not matter until you get the game mechanics right and you get what the fan service wants so if games by no is um somehow watching this don't think he is um keep it up i like the two games i've played so far of the just idle games i want to get into the other ones let's see Figure out where you've made wrong with like the pixels. You can make it pretty, but make sure you have your game mechanics down first before you worry about your art. Because the one thing I do not worry about usually is art until the game is really good and then I can admire the art and like really appreciate the people that actually created. I can stand on the side of a cliffside and look into the beyond and um, Le Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and enjoy the whole entire environment and just see how good it is. But the thing is, I don't pay attention to that when I'm doing the gameplay. I'm caring about if the game's, game somehow cheated me in something, and that's it. That's all I care about in the game to certain part. I'm pretty sure that's for other games too. Yes, there is art into it. It really goes into the gameplay, what keeps you wanting to play it, what wants you to keep it in the background, and what you want to keep and what you want to play. So, that's all I gotta say. I've made this video too long. I'm gonna edit it. Well, Future Me's gonna edit it a certain way, so hopefully he's got it down. Um, he's probably not even putting this part in. If he does, oh well. I'm looking very weird right now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it's a weird thing for me to do right now because I've never done this before. I mean, I'm just trying to see. Because personally, I just wanted to see if this made sense for anyone else to see a good game 
and then a very bad game. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.